These are small but interesting details that we all missed in Friends. Number 1. With Friends episodes running for the 2001 and 2002 seasons, the show was airing during the 9-11 attacks, which prompted some small nods to the New York Fire Department in the following episodes. Joey, there's something that you should know. Dina? I'm pregnant. What? Now, give him the sandwich! Give him the sandwich! Not only is there the Magna Doodle tribute, but there is also Joey's t-shirt here. You're fine. You're better than fine. You are, as your friend Tony would say, great. Number two. When Joey gets his stint as Al Pacino's butt double, we get to see something more than the character's rear end. Uh, listen, I just want to thank you for this great opportunity. Lose the robe. With me, that would work. Take a look behind the director, and you can see that there is a box labeled Monica's. Production error? We'll never know, I guess. The way I see it, the guy's upset here, you know? I mean, his wife's dead, his brother's missing. I think his butt would be angry here. <laughs> I think his butt would like to get the shot before lunch. Number three. Things seem to go well for Ross's bachelor party at the guy's apartment. Hey, hey what are those? That little party favors. Check it out. <laughs> wow, yeah. yeah. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh! But look in the background of the scene, and you will see that the balloons are not actually balloons, but blown up condoms. Hey, hey, museum geeks, party's over. Okay, wave bye bye to the nice lady. There you go. Back to your parents' basement. All right. Number four. In the show's first season, you can see that the famous apartments are numbered four and five. Paul, this is everybody. Everybody, this is Paul. Hey, my guy. Guy. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Paul, was it? But head to any episode beyond season one, and you will see that they have changed to the more well-known 19 and 20. Hey, can you believe this? Can you believe they are actually getting married? Well, sure, but I get married all the time. So. Number five. You may feel like you recognize the nurse who delivers Ben from somewhere. All right, all right. There's a few too many people in this room. There's about to be one more. So anybody who's not an ex-husband or a lesbian life partner, out you go. Well, if you're a Friends fan, that is no surprise, as this is the same actress who portrays Joey's future agent, Estelle Leonard. Have you ever seen me ecstatic? No. Oh. Well, here it is. Number six. You may not believe it, but there is a family cameo here in Joshua's family apartment. Um, this may be a little weird, but uh, I've got a date here. Oh, but say no more. We'll just grab some food, take it with us upstairs, and we'll be right out of here. The actor playing Joshua's dad is John Bennett Perry, the father of Chandler Bing actor Matthew Perry. Well, we're starving. Why don't we just all go get something to eat? Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, no use wasting this baby just lying around the house. <laughs> So, we'll go eat, you'll wear that, we'll be eating, and of course you'll be wearing that. Number seven, how can any of us forget the episode where Joey and Chandler get robbed of all their possessions? See, I told you. Sometimes I come in here just to get away from it. Well, if you look closely at the Magna Doodle after the crime is committed, you can see that the thief actually left a little message for the guys on his way out. What happened? Oh man, he promised he wouldn't take the chairs. <laughs> what the hell happened? How are you locked in there? Where the hell's all of our stuff? Number eight. We of course get the episode where Joey models for a poster, which turns out to be not as glamorous as he'd hoped. So I guess you all saw it. <laughs> what? Saw what? We're just laughing. You know how laughter can be infectious. <laughs> well, a few episodes later, Monica and Phoebe can be seen walking past it before this infamous moment. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Number nine. As most fans know, Monica actress Courtney Cox was once married to actor David Arquette, who had a guest appearance on the show. Why have you been following me? I mean, all week long, everywhere I look, there's you. You wouldn't return my calls? You sent back my letters? What? One more chance, Ursula, please. But he wasn't the only Arquette to appear, with his sibling Alexis guest starring as the waitress who serves Chandler and Monica in Vegas. Yeah, I just ordered a beer. They're straight, I get it. Number 10. In season seven, we get Susan Sarandon guest starring for an episode as a quick love interest for Joey. What are you going to do, kill him? Like you did Charles? Oh, my baby! 
But something you may have missed is that her real-life daughter, Eva Amuri, appeared in a scene with her as her character's daughter whom she slaps. That slap looks so real. How do you do that? Oh, just years of experience. Can I get some ice here? Number 11. Remember this young kid whom Phoebe and Rachel cross paths with? Hi. Uh, did I accidentally drop a condom in your case? Uh, <laughs> it's kind of an emergency. Yeah. Here you go. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, Christine, I got it! Well, you've probably already beaten us to the punch, but that is the same actor who goes on to play Phoebe's half-brother in the show, Frank Jr. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we could go down to Times Square and pick up some ninja stars. Uh, oh, um, my friend Larry, he wants me to take a picture of a hooker. Number 12. When the guys head out to dinner, you can see the name of the restaurant on the menus, which is Marcel's. How come all I can think about is putting that ice in my mouth and licking you all over? <laughs> because I went to an all-boys high school and God is making up for it. This is, of course, a nod to the monkey Ross took in back in season one, Marcel, whom Ross actually reunites with in these episodes. Well, buddy, this is it. It's just a couple of things I wanted to say. I'm really gonna miss you. I'm never gonna forget about you. You've been more than just a pet to me. You've been, it's more like a bit of okay. Number 13. When Joey speaks to Phoebe, listen to the PIN number for his ATM card. I scratched it on the ATM machine down on the corner. Ah, uh, so you're 5639? That's it, thanks, Phoebe. If you type 5639 out on a dial pad, the name you can make is none other than Joey. So basically, Joey can't spell his name. He is as stupid as he seems in that Centurion outfit now, isn't he? Do you mind doing a picture with us? What, what was that? Uh, Entertainment Tonight. <laughs> 